You probably don't know me, and you probably won't see this video, but I need to put this out there anyway. My name is Travis Radke, and for about four to five years, I've gone by many different names on YouTube. Trav Tay Plays, Realm About, Realm About Fantasy, Radke's Realm. And for the last four to five years, I've been making content on YouTube as a side project with the ultimate goal of promoting my novel. It's been full of ups and downs, but never any real progress. And the truth is, I don't know if I have the heart for this anymore. I've worked my ass off while at the same time always half-assing it. I prefer to make content that is easy for me to make. Reactions, let's plays, maybe press the record button and rant about something interesting. Every time I think about putting my all into a video and making something I could be proud of, partway through I lose all drive. I'm even starting to lose my desire to play video games, my favorite pastime. I have this obsessive need to share my gaming experiences. I feel like if I don't share those moments with you, I've lost something. This feeling is causing me to dislike gaming in general. I want that desire to come back and for it not to be a chore. I have a full-time job, a wife, family, and friends. And now my son is almost a year old. By the time this video comes out, he will be a year old. I've never been able to fully give it my all, to fully dedicate myself to this dream. I've never been able to fully give it my all, to fully dedicate myself to this dream of content creation. It's not even my true dream. Writing is my true passion, and now I don't even want to do that anymore. I'm still full of ideas, but I lack the motivation and passion and drive to pick up my pen and write. The writing industry is arguably harder than YouTube. And a big part of that is promoting myself on social media. And I just don't have it in me to keep trying to convince people to care about my stories. But despite all that, I'm still hopeful. I'm in a pretty bad slump right now, but maybe tomorrow, next week, next month, or maybe next year, that spark might creep its way back in. Maybe it'll take the form of a new video, a new channel, or maybe a new book. But for some reason, I'm still confident that I'll find that passion again. This isn't goodbye quite yet. I still have footage of a let's play I did with a friend the other day and I feel I owe it to him to finish that. Who really knows what will happen after that. Hi, it's been a little while. Um, I wanted to express some of my thoughts and feelings that I had after I wrote that little snippet. Um, since I wrote that, I have this idea brewing in my head to write a children's book just a little picture book i'm not going to talk about it too much because it's in very early development but because it's a ch children's book and it's very very short i don't think it'll take me nearly as long to really flesh it out and you know to to really develop it and get it out there um the hardest part will probably be coming up with the money to pay for the art because i am not an artist Maybe it'll be fun to come out with like maybe a free digital version of my concepts. Like this, I can, I mean, I can doodle. <laughs> but um, I did start another channel a while back in anticipation for possible passion projects I have. It's called T W Radke, so it's just my author name. Um, there, I was the idea is to write or to upload content I'm more passionate about, like video essays, uh, just breaking down like characters and stories and um, comparing and contrasting like different medias and I had this idea for a video comparing uh, Final Fantasy 16 to Attack on Titan because I've noticed a lot of interesting similarities and interesting ways in which they diverge. I started writing it a few months ago and I took a long break. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll get back into it. I'm kind of hoping something hits me and I'm just like, oh, I have to write about this, you know. Um, we'll, see, we'll see where it goes. Life is tough right now. Uh, my wife and I are trying to plan my son's first birthday. And, you know, it's just life. Life happens. I was kind of hoping that I would have made a significant impact and my writing career or my content creation career by the time I had my son it didn't work out that way and that's okay uh, I enjoyed my time on YouTube and Twitch while it lasted uh, 
I don't really like phrasing it that way while it lasted because I'm not necessarily going away. Um, I work at a school and I get summers off. So I might be able to stream more or might have more time for content creation this summer. Um, with ideally the goal to make a little extra money to compensate for not working during the summer. I'd rather stay home with my son and try to get this content creation stuff going with, uh, and selling more books. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening to me rambling. Um, look forward to future writing projects. And if you want to subscribe to TW Radkey in, you know, that would be great. That would be really, really cool because I eventually want to put something special on there. I thought, you know, I could use this channel for fun, goofy stuff, let's plays, reactions. Um, you know, if I have this, a, a video idea, like, um, I'm talking about, like, uh, you know, I've uploaded a few things, like, talking about the combat in Final Fantasy 16, or, like, my idea for, like, a sequel to Tears of the Kingdom. Um, just stuff like that. Um, like, little, little, little opinion pieces. Um... But the stuff I'm really passionate about, uh, that I find really interesting, that I think will take, you know, long form, a longer form type of content, I'll upload to uh, TEW Radkey. And, you know, I do have a Patreon. I want to make it worth it for people, though. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take me to get that up and running, but I think until I have a larger audience, um, there's not really a huge point in really pushing the patreon uh but yeah we'll, we'll we'll see what the future holds man uh thank you guys for watching i super duper appreciate it and uh, i hope you stick around um i was hoping to make this video when we reached 1000 subscribers which i am 12 subscribers away from so <laughs> i can't believe it's taken me this long to get a thousand but yeah, maybe if I tried harder or put more effort into making better quality content videos, maybe I would have been there, you know? Maybe my life would have been different, but I feel like part, I mean, I'm obviously to blame. I, there are people on YouTube who work really, really, really hard and they become successful. Maybe there's some people, I've seen some... I've seen some amazing, like, high-quality videos on channels that are just have, like, a couple thousand views. It's pretty crazy that some people just don't get the attention they deserve. I don't think I'm necessarily one of those people. Um, I don't make super high-quality content, but I think I'm fun and entertaining, especially, like, when, when I get going, if that makes sense, you know. We're live, we're having fun, we're goofing around. I, I think those are time, moments where I shine. Um, I think when I'm playing video games with Taylor or my friend William, I think those there's some really, really good quality moments in there that make for some just fun times. And those videos don't get a lot of views, but sometimes the shorts that I make from those videos do. And people seem to really enjoy them. So... Even if people don't watch the main videos, I'll probably still just make that content for those sweet little precious moments that I can turn into shorts, because people seem to genuinely enjoy those. And, um, and I want to share that with you guys. Okay, so I, I think the video is finally over. Thank you for watching. Super duper appreciate it. And I will see you next time.